that one's pulling drag. has been through a workout today. I don't know if you can see all the teeth marks on it, but it is ate up. This is my first stop of the morning. Yes, sir. Get my dip net here. All right. Chunky little fish to start the morning out. That's probably a keeper. Yes, sir. Nice one. Well, guys, if you saw my last video, I told you that, that at the beginning of the video that there was two techniques that I like to do at this time of the year. There are two finesse techniques. Well, this is the second one. Uh, it's a little bit windy today, so I'm going to throw the whirly bee a little bit more and see if I can get a few few more fish on camera for you. And I'll show you and tell you exactly what I do in fishing this whirly bay. Let's catch some more fish. Guys, with the whirly bay, it's all just about a slow, steady retrieve. Well, that one's pulling drag. I haven't seen him yet, but I believe this is a good fish. It's a large mouth. And that's the thing about this whirly bee. It will catch both. Yes, sir. That's close to a three pounder. <clears throat> yes, sir. Pretty marks on that one. Trying to get out of my shadow here. There we go. There's a good good view of it. That's a beautiful fish. Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna let her go. Thank you, girl. Here she goes. All right. Guys, it, uh, again, I was talking about uh, in my previous video, tight line, and I'm, I'm fishing the same type of banks that I did in that, in that video, 45 degree or steeper banks. I felt my bait going through some. It's another large mouth. But I felt my bait going through some brush and I I just stopped it. about let him get in the trolling motor 
another keeper large mouth. This is typically a small mouth bait, but I'm not going to be picky. That's a healthy two and a quarter, maybe two and a half pound large mouth. Thank you, girl. Just let her go. Look at the whirly bee here. That's it up close right there. Now that's actually a modified version. I have put a different bait on it. And as you can see, the, the whirly bee head is a flat, is a flat head design with the spinner on the back of it. And it's got a little keeper right here to keep the spinner from coming off of it. But I like to tie it with a loop knot too. This is six pound test line. You could go down to even four pound test. This is six pound fluorocarbon. I'm using a six and a half medium light rod. Guys, they make different sizes of these whirly bees. I believe this is the, this is called the, I believe it's the pro size. Whirly bee, it's a little bit heavier. I think it might be a quarter of an ounce. They make smaller ones, but I like the the heavier pro size uh, for for bass fishing, especially on a day like today when the the wind is howling a little bit. good way to figure out what depth you need to, to fish it at is, is uh, just the, the tried and true countdown method. Just throw it out and count, count down and start reeling. but I'm still going to dip it. Boy, he's mean. He thinks he's big. Because I've got hung a few times on the last few banks that I've hit. Oh, that one acted like it was about a three-pounder, but... That's what makes catching them on this light tackle so much fun. That one hit another one on the whirly bee. Let's let her go. Thank you, girl. There he is. Well, I might can thank getting hung up on for this fish. Right over there on the edge of that boat ramp. Oh yeah, this is a nice one here. Don't you come off, girl. Oh yes. That one is thick. Boy, she engulfed it. It's 
That's another fat one. She wanted it. Right there it is. Thump. Yes, sir, look at that. That one is thick right there. That's that's close to a three pound fish right there. It might be a three pounder. Very nice. Yes, sir. Let's let her go. Thank you, girl. Water is super clear. I'm fishing the same end of the lake as I was in the tight line in the video. But you want to make as long of a cast as you can just in case the the fish are a little spooky. Which they have a tendency to be in this clear water. In the winter time, a lot of people associate small mouth and deep water and catching them deep, but that's not that's not necessarily always the case. There's always always a few fish shallow. And usually those shallower fish are are up there for a reason. So if you can get a bait in front of them. They are likely gonna gonna hit like that one right there. It's always nice when uh, that fish was probably in five or six foot of water right there. And I know he's not big. But I appreciate you cooperating and uh, demonstrating for me what I was just talking about. That couldn't have worked out any better right there. 13 incher. Pretty fish. But it just came up there and slammed it. It's just a bite size morsel for them, I guess. All right, we'll let that one go. This is a bass, it's a good fish. Oh yeah. Uh, he ain't as big as I thought. So he was going in with the wind. I'm gonna dip him though, because I have not retired in a while. Buddy, that one hit and just took off. He was going with the wind. Another one on the whirly bee. Yes, sir. I'll take it. Let's throw her back. All right. Guys, when they hit this thing, it's it's not just a, they don't just smack it. They, uh, it's more like a crappie thump. In fact, it's exactly like a crappie thump. There he is. I 
hadn't got a gauge on him yet. I've got to keep him out of that trolling motor. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Look at there. Yes, sir. Well, that's number five keeper on the day. Yes, sir. Look at that. I was trying to keep him out of the trolling motor. Now, that's what a small mouse is supposed to look like right there. That's probably a three, over three, three and a quarter. Get out of the sun here so you won't be looking right into the sun. That is a nice one. Yes, sir. That one was right on the bank. I had got hung up again, and I just paralleled the bank. Yes, sir. Thank you. Another nice one on the whirly bee. All right, guys. Just let her go. Thank you, girl. She's fattening up for the for the spawn that's coming up in just a few months. All right. There she goes. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you, Lord, for a great day. Well, guys, that wraps it up for the day. I really appreciate you tuning in. Hey, if you hadn't tried the Whirly Bee, give it a shot. It's a very tiny bait, but you might be surprised at the results that you can get sometimes. Hey, as always, I appreciate every one of you. I hope to see you on the water, and we'll do it again next time. See ya.